good evening to everyone a warm word of welcome to everyone to five days online workshop on 3d modeling using google sketchup day three session today also the attendance form link will be posted in live chat box i know the participants are very eager to listen this workshop so i hand over the day three session to our speaker mr uday sangha sir thank you ma'am thank you ma'am good evening to all uh, I directly go to the presentation. Right. So my screen is visible. So my screen is visible. No sir, no sir. Yeah, you are visible. Your screen screen is not visible, sir. Oh. So now the screen is visible, sir. Ah, yeah. Now it's visible. Oh, okay, sir. Fine. So okay. Uh, yesterday, let's see about how to create the one elevation and uh, uh, create the slope slope walls like that slope roofs. Yesterday, it creates. And uh, today, let's see about how to edit the paints. Edit the paints. How to download images? Import into SketchUp model. That's all. Today let's see about how to edit the paints and also how to create the hilly terrains, right? Hilly mountain surface and other etc. Right? Okay, fine. Yesterday, uh, directly go to paint, then directly click the go to any paints, right? Uh, wall thickness, color, color named any. Directly pick the paint. Directly apply on the surface, right? Okay. That's a paint is click and directly apply. I think I I do not need this color. I edit some colors means how to edit the paint right. How to edit the paint means uh, directly go to edit option right. Directly go to edit option. Click this edit option right. Uh, directly go to directly go to edit option. You go to four option is there. One is the color. Another one is the texture. Another one is the aspect ratio. Another one is the opacity, right? The four is that. One is the color. Another one is the texture. Another one is the aspect ratio. Another one is the opacity. These are the main four things to edit your colors or cladings, these lines, etc. Right? Yeah. See one by one, right? Let's see one by one. First one, how to edit the colors, right? How to edit the colors? First of all, go to paint, default tray, select, right? Select. Which color will be edited? First, you select that color, right? First, you, which color will be edited? Right? You select that color. How to select that color means simply go for sample paint, right? Simply go for sample paint. Click this sample paint, right? Click this sample paint. Then go any color, right? Simply this color is there. Click this color. This color is automatically visible in this part, right? Automatically, that color is visible in this point. Then go to edit command, right? Then go to edit command. Then go to color. Then go to color wheels. Simply change this color. Automatically, the color will be changed, right? I simply go to select command. Go to sample paint. Select the sample paint. Which color you will be changed means select that color, right? I'll be changed that color. Simply select this color. Automatically, this portion, the color will be changed, right? Then go to edit. Then automatically the color will be changed, right? This is a light. I will be dark means go to this. See, automatically it will be changed, right? Dark or light, anyone, right? You change the different, different colors. The first one is the color is the color, color changeable, right? You give the any color, it will be changeable. Go to select, go to sample paint. I select this color, go to edit. I change this paint of this color, right? I simply change this paint of the color. That is the first one, color. Now, what is the texture? Uh, the texture is a simple, nothing but you need something, color or something, images in net, right? You see downloaded some images net directly insert into your elevation. That is the texture. A downloaded from directly on net. Simply expo insert into your SketchUp model, right? How to insert the SketchUp model in download the image? Simply 
you go to first one you select that any place you import me select that place right i simply mm, select that uh, that portion right that portion go to select the sample page i select this portion i i insert some internet images right internet some image styles like something like i will be insert in this color right right insert in this color simply go so I edit right edit i click simply click use texture image right i simply click use texture image you click this use texture image uh, that directly your desktop will go for your desktop right directly the dialog box will go for your desktop you simply go i am downloaded some images in my desktop directly i am going to desktop uh, building is the right i downloaded some images right this type of all image jpg format only right i downloaded some jpg format i click this image right i simply click this image simply open now automatically that image will be apply right simply which one will be changed means go to select go to sample paint right sample paint select this color then go to edit then go to use texture image then go to this is something image is there i simply click this open now it see automatically that image will become but it's smaller size right how to edit this size is right and this image is some lines is there how to edit the lines right uh, that portion is at this portion aspect ratio is a editing portion right uh, you see that image is a line is there right how to increase the lines right how to increase the lines simply go to select that simply go to sample paint select that right go to edit go to edit go to aspect ratio right go to aspect ratio simply click i need to 2 meter enter 2 meter by 2 meter the size is large i simply enter 10 meter enter right you see this automatically design will be changed right automatically this design will be changed first of all that is a small image right now we see automatically I as per ratio it will be changed 10 meter by 10 meter automatically the line size will be changed right that type only automatically the this type of lines also will be changed in as per ratio right this is a one image same like that going to select go to sample point pick this pair right then go to edit as per ratio 0.3 i go to tell see this image will be large right only one image means directly go to I give 50. See this. Automatically, it's come from one, one image, right? You simply edit this automatically, it will become convertible. Okay, fine. Now it's editable. And uh, you see this, this lines is the right, cladding lines. It's smaller. I need large lines, right? You see this, there's this images are large lines, right? How to increase the lines, this lines, right? How to increase this lines? simply go to select right go to sample paint select them go to edit this aspect ratio is a 0.76 right i need five meters simply change it right automatically the line will be changed like that right five meter i increase four meter right see that simply same like that it will be simply same that i change it to aspect ratio automatically the line will be the size will be changeable same like that it will be changeable simply go to select go to sample paint you go to any one you change we select that i simply select that go to edit and change the aspect ratio automatically the line depth and order it will be changeable right first one is a color changeable second one is a aspect ratio sorry download image directly inside into a your model and as per ratio, so this type of line cladding images and uh, tiles also. This is granite is the right. I simply go to select sample paint, select this right. Go to edit. This is a 1.22 meter is there. I need five meters. See this. The design will be large, right? Same. The design will be large. See this same. This is some tile small box box is there. I simply go to select edit. I select this right. Go to edit command. Uh, two meter into two meter right now itself automatically will be changed i'm going to 10 meter now we'll see 
automatically the size will be changed right say the 10 meter 10 meter by the box size it will be automatically changed right now we say automatically this line all lines it will be changed the first one is a color changeable second one is a any this type of any images a directly downloaded in net and directly imported into your model uh, go to text click this text view then this type of i need first of all go to select select your which one you change me select that right i simply go to this right i simply select that i simply go to edit use texture image this type of design open now it's see automatically it will be changed right any image you downloaded from it directly it will be changed i i need this type of bone uh dark bone like design okay a name has been given i reduce this size right simply go edit 10 meter is there i give 2 meter see this is small small is there i need medium size simply go for five right now it's see automatically it will be changed right now understand how to change the colors going to color and change the color wheel how to download the images in input into the sketchup model directly go to use texture how to increase the sizes right line sizes are cladding lines cladding line spacing going to as per ratio simply click this as per ratio automatically it cover color will be changeable right this one opacity is like a light one glass type you increase the opacity it's come from glass one right thinner you see this uh, this is i'm going to 100 it's thick i'm going to miss light so nothing but you're going to reduce the opacity changes into transparent type right and anyone need do not change this it's 100 is a permanent one anybody you change the color means going to color directly you change option any image download from net to insert into uh, your model means go to use texture and the any sizes the uh, cladding sizes are downloaded images size it will be changed means go into aspect ratio and in downloaded images color also will be changeable right uh, this is one color is the right select sample paint i select this color right i simply go to edit i change this color also see this i change this color also size also download images also size and color changeable so downloaded image size and color changeable okay itself I, this is a download image i directly use texture image instead of the sketchup model and then the color also will be unchangeable right and line spacing also changeable i need 10 meter i need 8 meter see the line will be less right i need 15 meter see line will be automatically large right now it's see how to edit the colors use texture image and then as per ratio this is the main for creating a one elevation in coloring path right create the one elevation in color path okay and now it's the same this is slope roof is the right slope roof the tiles are the right tiles uh, how to increase the size i simply go to select i'm going to sample paint click this sample paint right i simply go to edit uh, color is the same the aspect ratio is a 0.76 meter right i simply give two meter enter right two meter enter it's a small right i am going to simply five meter see this automatically it will be changed right i am going to 10 meter see this automatically it will be changed like a tiles right spanish tiles roofing spanish tiles uh for example tamil means food a mode of color that type is a spanish type is automatically the size will be changeable right now it says slope to roofs automatically the uh, the spanish tiles the spacing will be changeable directly go to edit then go to as per ratio then 15 means same like this the smaller means going to i as per ratio 5 I is smaller and going to 10 right now it's see automatically change the flat roof also color and the cladings will be line and color changeable and also sloped roof also the lines also others will be changeable right now understand um, how to edit the colors how to insert the images on your download images on your model and how to change the lines distance and others etc in the sketchup exterior model right now understand how to create the models and how to 
coloring and other etc how to edit the colors how to insert the image other images like this type of images and also aspect ratios right this type of aspect ratios how to increase the colors and decrease the colors it will be used right you simply change this i go select right select this color going to edit and um, go to use texture image right use texture i need uh, are there something this type of stones simply click this stone open automatically stone be formed but the stone size is too large like the too large i will be less smaller stones i simply go to aspect ratio i need two two means very smaller right two means very smaller i need 10 now it's see automatically the stones are will be changed right as a aspect ratio right this is the editable for your colors and others etc in this edit option color wheel texture and the aspect ratio this is the main thing for editing your exterior elevation right this is over one part is over coloring part is over coloring is given already and how to edit means i briefly tell about how to edit the colors and how to use the uh, texture images and how to use the aspect ratios right and the what purpose are using aspect ratios and other etc okay finish now itself i simply created the one elevation and how to edit this and uh, this type of colorings and etc right okay then this point is over next one is components right on uh, this next part is a component and the components will be creation of so many components are there so many components are downloaded from directly on the warehouse the sketchup is a large huge amount of components in the warehouse google sketchup warehouse right you directly download the warehouse directly insert into the your model right interior components are exterior components staircase etc anyone you will be create the components right simply how to download the components in sketchup and right, next one is uh, how to download the component sketchup uh, i am using 30 days pack 30 days pack means only is available you go to pirated is not available right pirated is not available for warehouse you go to 30 days trial pack you go to window and uh, directly go to 3d warehouse right i'm going to window directly go to 3d warehouse this is 3d warehouse the huge amount of components is there this all of us components some is the electrical items the first first i told you the sketchup is for only for not a civil it's for all departments like mechanical also electrical also uh, something all departments right uh, now itself i am using civil only right you see this more items is that uh, how to search the elements components right how to search the components means i simply go to all categories one option is all categories you need animals architecture arts buildings electronics films food furnitures interior design and others etc right you simply go to interior design click it interior designs you go to collections right all sofas wind chairs others etc so many of us there you directly download any materials in sketchup warehouse right you directly downloaded sketchup warehouse right another option is here uh, you all category i'll simply go to search item right simply go to search item uh simply i type the i need a one car right simply search the car i'm going to click the car right automatically so many cars are there right so many cars are there I simply go to any one car, right? I simply click this car. There are so many cars. This car I needed, right? I simply click this download. And this is two option is there. This is download into model means yes means directly download into your model. No means it is saved into your computer, right? Use another another time or any time, right? Yes means it directly import into your model. No means it's saved into your computer in one of the path, right? You use it anywhere, anytime, right? In the SketchUp components. I directly go to, I click the download and directly download your SketchUp model, yes. I directly download in my SketchUp model, right? Yeah. It's downloaded, right? It's directly downloaded around me, SketchUp model. The car is the right components. I downloaded directly on the SketchUp model. Now itself, the some components are 
uh, sizes is there like it's a large size how to increase or reduce the size in your components how to increase or decrease the size for your downloaded component drive first of all simply go for large tool drive simply go for large tool go to scale option right simply go for scale option large tool go for scale option click this scale option simply go to same one path simply reduce it automatically your components will be size will be reduced right same opposite opposite path increase means directly increase or scroll on your mouse right simply scroll on all your mouse simply decrease your mouse any components will be directly downloaded on warehouse the size will be changeable means same option I directly go to large tool then go to click the scale option to in increase means automatically the size will be changed uh, decrease means automatically the size will be changed right uh, your component height will be increase or decrease means you directly go to scale option i right, click the scale option automatically that component height it will be changed right okay fine now itself the automatically the size will be changed right simply reduce this automatically size will be changed right now that the car is i need this place right how to change first one move option right simply move this i move this car right and this portion right simply go to rotate option right simply rotate this right simply rotate this right then go to move command then move this right and then up yeah now it's see automatically it will be changed right then straight then go to simply go to rotate command right rotate it right you miss 90 degree enter automatically it will change one degree means automatically it will be changed right if we enter into the keypad the unit is automatically it will be changed right it will be automatically it will be changed okay right then go to move command is automatically move the component right now it's see automatically it will be created the component and then go to scale command reduce the reducer increase the downloaded component size right and then move and rotate is same option move option is a disco car will be moved and the rotation option is a same option right rotation and option how to reduce the size means uh, directly go to scale option click the scale option then reduce the size and increase the size right reduce or increase the size the first option is on the directly go to windows directly go to windows then go to 3d warehouse any components you needed directly download this warehouse right i simply i need three example three i simply three right simply go to collections right so many trees are there right so many trees i simply directly go to trees click this right click this trees i am simply go to download yes directly download right I click this, but the tree is smaller, right? I need a large height. I need a long height. How to increase the height of the tree means simply go to scale command, right? To increase it. Now we'll see. Then go to move command and to this size. Now it's sorry. Yeah. Now we'll see. automatically the tree height will be changed right first of all the tree height is small now itself automatically the tree height will be changeable right now itself the tree height will be changeable okay go to scale option you change the height of the components height also and length with also reducible and the same like a tree means directly go to windows components and then go to scale option you reduce or decrease the height of the components right okay and uh, next of all i change the size of the car right how to change the color in your component right some i need some colors for my component how to give the color for your components first of all simply go this group 
it's a group one how to ungroup this this is a group how to ungroup this means simply go to select command select this component right select this component and right click on this mouse right right click on this mouse go to explore go to explore now it's automatically it will be changed right now itself simply go for select go to paints right simply go to paints apply this paints now it's see automatically the color will be changed right simply go to apply automatically the your components color also it will be changeable right now it's see automatically your components case also changeable right then glasses i simply go for glasses right same class it will be transparent class right see this like that right you also color also changeable in your components now you see automatically it will be given right color means color or other means other right now you see sorry now you see automatically first of all how to reduce the size means directly go to your scale option then reduce your component then how to give the color your component simply select your component and right click on the mouse select on your component right click on the mouse explode automatically it will be changed right you will be automatic give the any color for your cars right you see this cars colors or any colors it will be given right now it see automatically it will be changeable right uh, let's see about how to download the components go to warehouse and download the components how to increase the size or decrease the size go to scale command how to change the color for your component means uh, select the component and then right click on the mouse and explode then you change the color for your any components like a tree uh, something uh, street lights also anyone you directly download on 3d warehouse and size is also changeable and the colors also it will be changeable right and this is over right this is over and uh, today let's see the how to edit the colors right how to edit the colors and directly go to edit this colors and uh, how to download the components and how to edit the colors right how to edit the colors then also stack as also that you simply go to windows 3d warehouse right 3d warehouse you simply type the star star right stars automatically so many stars are there right you simply download the star automatically it will be changed the size it will be fixed right okay for example i simply draw the one star right uh, this is on room like that i simply draw i draw one line right slope itself this to this and another line right right then i draw the lines right simply erase it and simply go for line command right i simply draw this line and another line then see this Sorry. Right. Now itself it will be drawn right. Now itself it will be drawn. Then go to push pull command right. Push pull command. Pull it. See. Automatically steps will be created right. Automatically its steps will be created right. Automatically the steps will be created. now how to form the grills like simply go to circular draw the circular right circle 1 sorry circle 1 circle 2 right then go to push pull tool then draw the circular right same like this tilings then create your own star like this right then also I, I, some difficult to create the star means directly go to windows go to 3d warehouse then type the star so many stars are there directly download and use it on the stars right use it on the stars easily adjustable for your stars right star guys and ramp also it easily creatable ramps same like that this is a line and i created the one line right right then go to push pull same like that this is a ramp right 
same like that it will be created simply using line command only right now it's a star cas its type of it will be created or you directly if you go to windows 3d warehouse directly download in your star cas and the size will be edit the color will be edit used for your sketch up model right okay now itself i created the colors edit and the components how to create a simple stars or directly download from models right and slope roofs okay next of all uh, next uh, uh, see the how to um, create the one hill stars right mountains or any one how to create the mountains or any one uh, now itself uh, today is uh, see about uh, how to this tools large tools will be see and uh, view tools will be see out uh, the sandbox this is sandbox tool uh, this tool is a main tool for creating the hill sides of areas mountain areas like a sandbox tool this tool is a main tool for creating a mountain other shape undulation shapes etc right how to create this this type of shapes right the sandbox tool okay the, the sandbox tool based upon your contour type uh, same like a contour you study in your surveying right you study in your surveys surveying right surveying uh oh, surveying two surveying one uh based upon radial green indirect contour indirect contour uh, indirect contour means you go to square contour or box contour like same like that i will be drawing right first step is uh, how to create the mountains and directly go to form stash option right stash option the stash option is same like a uh, box contour square contour option same as a square contour the stash option is a same as a square contour option like i simply click this option first of all with i simply drag this with i need a 50 meter right 50 enter automatically 50 will be enter right and uh, length is a 50 a 50 50 it will be created right 50 50 50 it will be created automatically the contour is a 50 meter 50 meter the center to center spacing is a first of all a 3 meter it will be given right 3 meter uh, another one i will be draw that is a 5 meter right 5 meter how to draw means directly go to stretch right click this stretch and go to 50 meter right enter then this side also 50 meter enter now it see automatically this 5 meter will be changeable right this is a 5 meter square contour and this is a 3 meter square contour but the same sides are same like right 50 meter by 50 meter you already studied in surveying same as a contour square contour right you form the one length and width like a square right square large area and divided into grid spacing right 3 meter by 3 meter box or 5 meter by 5 meter box are creating this type of automatically the spacing will be given in this grid spacing this is a 5 meter you go to 10 meter 50 meter you will be go any meter side right? you create a large type of uh, hills like you go to 10000 into 10000 right i simply go for stash right i simply go for stash i simply create this go to 10000 enter right and this step only i go to 10000 but sorry yeah some hang Once again, sorry, guys. Then can inconvenience. We will wait for one two seconds. It will be open. Okay, fine. I I it will be close the SketchUp model, but I not saved right. But I not save saved. saved. Sorry, right. I close this program. Right. I simply I close this program. This is some problem is that the SketchUp is closed. But I not saved. But I not saved. I simply open this SketchUp twenty twenty. Now it's up. Sorry, it's automatically the recovery is not taken. But the some files are the recovery are taken. uh yeah, i need i another files are there another files are sometimes is recorded is taken this file is not taken right as some problems okay uh, sometimes yeah uh, recovery is there you see this recovery the recovery today itself right 
query click this query file open the so automatically that uh, you, you do not save the file which don't mind it automatically is close means automatically require will be saved in this path right automatically its recovery file will be automatically it will be saved yeah automatically recovery will be saved like other portions like front portions and other portions are automatically the recovery will be saved right and then i simply go to top view simply go to top view then go to stats right <laughs> simply go to 100 right say 1000 enter in this state 1000 enter right 1000 into 1000 right 1000 into 1000 will be hang So okay, wait for two or three seconds. If time will be, uh, which is a uh, stretch is a too long, right? You create a too long thousand meter by thousand meter is a too long. It takes the times two or two or three minutes. It will be taken, right? It's created of the stretch, right? Sorry, it's simply closed and open it. I take small one. Okay, I will take small one. The required file is there, right? Query file open right. Okay, fine. I simply go for top view. Top view right. I simply take the stretch tool. Uh, simply created the ten. Uh, sorry, fifty meter enter. This also I need three meter right. Three meter enter. Three meter grid automatically will be created right. automatically the first option is a go to from stretch and automatically it will be created the grid right and uh, this is a group you go to select this any on this space it select all this space like right? this is a group this form is a group how to unform ungroup how to ungroup this element right how to ungroup this contour simply select this contour right click on the mouse go to explore right go to explore it's automatically and next x and next ungroup right first of all group is there how to ungroup means directly select right click on the mouse click the explode automatically it's ungroup right select this automatically it will be select okay first step is over you directly go to stretch tool and draw the 50 meter by 50 meter and the grid is a 3 meter it will be created a one contour and select this contour right and select this contour and right click on the mouse and explode Now this is a ungroup option, right? The first option is over. The second option is a drop tool, right? Drop tool. Uh, click the drop tool, right? Click the drop tool. You click the any place on this your contour, right? Click it. Click there. And the next tool is a smooth tool. Smooth tool is a main tool, right? It is a creating of the hill or any one, right? Smooth tool. I click the smooth tool, right? Smooth tool. And I click this center point. Is a radius is a ten meter already. I need a fifteen meter directly enter the radius. So automatically, its circle will be large, right? Automatically, its circle will be large, large. It reduces in this circle, right? Fifteen meter, need fifteen meter. You need any meter means any meter, right? Automatically, it will be created, right? Center point or any point. Then click the point on this mouse. Directly click the mouse and move on top. Automatically created, right? Feels like. automatically it will be created click the any center point automatically it will be move like a hill slide now it see downwards also like the step of downwards values something like the step of downwards values it should be created up means directly up this portion right automatically you go for uh, 1000 10000 into 10000 contours it created the mountain right is a smaller contour means like this step right You go to click this any place directly. Now it's see 
automatically it will be up and down are created in undulation surfaces created in uh, sketchup right now you see the lines are there i need a smooth surface how to create the smooth surface right uh, simply select this contour right simply select this contour right click on the mouse right right click on the mouse then go to soften and smooth edges soften and smooth edges click this you click this soften and smooth edges automatically default tray uh, soften edges dialog box is open right soften edge dialog box is open first one is clicked soft normal smooth normals you also click this soften calculator click this and this go to degree normally 20 is go to 180 now we'll see automatically no lines are there it's form like a hills right it's form like a hills and directly go to colors right directly go to select give the any color of your hills right uh, one more time i will be draw i simply give the top view right simply give the top view uh, then go to first step is a from stats right first is a width with this i need 50 meter right 50 meter enter another length right this is a 50 meter, 50 meter, 50 meter contour size and 3 meter, 3 meters a grid spacing, right? First of all, I created a one contour. Next, this is a group element. How to ungroup this element, right? Simply select this. Select and right click on the mouse, right? Right click on the mouse and then go to explode option. Now itself automatically unexplored, right? Ungrouped. Ungrouped. Directly go to click the explode, it automatically ungrouped. Right now it's created. The next step is a first step is a stat step over. Next step is the drop tool. Right, click this drop tool on any surface, any place. Right, click this and go to and sorry and go to smooth tool. Smooth tool is a main tool for creating the undulation surface. Right, click the smooth tool. Right, click this and click the any point. Automatically radius will be twenty radius. Enter. Automatically, the height will be changed, right? Automatically. How to increase the height of the hills? Directly click this. Click the mouse and upward on the mouse, right? Automatically, it will be created on this hill surface, right? Automatically, it will be created on the hill side. How to smoothen this hills? How to smoothen means simply select this, right? Simply select this. Right click on the mouse. Right click on the mouse. Soften and smooth edges, right? Soften and smooth edges. So already one time it will be given. It will be, um, it will be visible for all times, right? Now we'll see. Automatically it will be created for hills, right? Automatic hills. Next to go to colors. A landscape is there, right? Go to any uh, stones like that, right? Give the stones, right? Stones. Little smaller stones. Uh, then go to any right? It's a 0.61, 10 meter. You see this large type of stones, five meter, right? It's created five meter. Now you see five meter automatically created like a stone, stone, right? This type of it will be created. The mountains are any right, and then go to select and go to another a cover block, another grass or any one right? Ground cover, right? Click this automatically. It will be changed right. Then go to any is a point four six and it five meter. It will be changed the difference, right? Right. This type of the hills will be created in our SketchUp model, right? This type of uh, hills will be created in our SketchUp model. And uh, then how to create the roads and other paths, right? I simply created a rectangle nearby, right? I simply created the one rectangle, right? Simply created the rectangle, then go to push pull it. This, this is on floor, right? I copy into the top of the hills. How to copy in top of the hills means this is a, a first step you convert into this group, right? First step is convert into group. Simply go to select tool, right? Simply go to select, select tool, select this, right? Select this and right click on the mouse, make group. Now itself automatically it's convert into group, right? Automatically it's convert into group. And then go to move tool, right? Then go to move tool, then click this, this place and top of means, see this, automatically 
it will be created right automatically the hill stop will be created the one floor surface it should be created the any buildings on this surface right simply go for offset command sorry this is move group is there how to ungroup means directly click this go to right click on the mouse explore this ungroup right now it will go to offset command click this offset right then go to offset now it's automatically created the any buildings any on this hill terrains right now it say automatically created the hill terrains and any floors how to create the curved roads on your hill area right how to create the curved roads on your hill area uh, simply uh, fix the top view simply fix the top view go for arc right go for arc command i simply draw first point and second point right i simply draw the one arc then go to take a offset command right offset command take the offset of this arc road length right then go to line command right then go to line command i draw this line right this to this lines this is automatically created the portion right curved portion and then go to pull it some distance right and then convert into group right convert it to select this portion select this portion right click on the mouse make group now itself it's created the group like then go to move tool then go to move tool it's move this now it's see automatically it will be created like a curved right automatically the height will be created automatically it will be created the curved surface roads or any it will be the all surface user automatically it will be created any free say this type of hills like that see this this type of any it will be automatically it will be created roads or any curved surface or any in this hills areas it will be created in this portion right now it's understand how to create the hills areas how to create the buildings in hills areas how to convert the roads this type of roads and slope roads or others to be created the steps in your hills areas right now it's understand how to create the steps of undulation portions and how to create the step of portion how to form the buildings in the top of the mountains right to directly download the components right directly download the components trees or anyone to fix it on any places right directly the tree is the right directly copy and paste on this portion right simply and copy and take the forest tree this and use this is mountain as a sketch up model right mountain as sketch up model now it see now it's automatically created as a one mountain path right okay next of all this is a main tool first tool is a stretch tool second one is a draft third one is a smooth three, three tools are main tools to make a one hill shape right hill shape or undulation shape in our sketch up model right it will be created okay uh next one it will be now itself see how to create the edit on paints how to create how to download the components how to edit the sizes and the colors and how to create the steps like that and how to create the mountain surface right how to create the mountains the drop box drop this tool sorry sandbox tool is a main tool for creating this elevation right sandbox tool is a main tool for creating the elevation okay next up for next up for um, somebody wants to uh, name on this building right uh, somebody wants to this, some names how to create the names 3d text names on this building right 3d text names you simply go i create one name on this space in this name and in this portion i will be create right this portion i will be create some names building names right i simply go for large tool right simply go for large tool then go 3d text right then go 3d text click this 3d text right then automatically 3d text is open click this 3d text enter into any name right the home right home so 3d text automatically will enter this is a font size uh, times to roman or any one it will be given alignment left or right any one and this is a bold or italic or any one this is a height height of the building and the extrude means thickness of the length right is click this place 
automatically it will be placed right now it's say automatically sorry automatically it will be placed right now it's say automatically any name you want means directly go for 3d text and type any name on home when i increase the size means that is a 2 is the I increase 3 the size automatically it will be changed right automatically 3 that ticket this right this is a 2 meter height this is a 3 meter height automatically its name will be changed right okay now it's a see automatic tape tool or same like a same like this right okay another one next one is a uh, this is the right something background is the right how to set the backgrounds uh, you see this this type of trees is there uh, some sky is there how to set the background images right how to set the background images i simply draw one rectangular right i simply draw one rectangular in our back side then go to i pull it this i pull it this i drag this right i will i will download some natural sceneries in my desktop i directly insert in another background image i downloaded some images in my desktop and directly insert into the sketchup model right how to insert the sketchup model for background i simply go for file right simply go for file go to import right import uh, go for import then some natural scenery is there right this type click this image right click this texture not image texture right click this image import see this automatically it will be created like this this will be automatically it will be it go to extend means automatically it will be extend now it's see automatically this image will be created this type of elevation right you see this directly download from any jpj file you want it and uh, directly export it into your background images let's see uh, this is also editable uh, simply go for edit the color also editable size is 5 meter is the right i simply click 10 meter 10 meter by 10 meter automatically the size also it will be changeable size and the color also see this sorry see this color this color also it will be changeable right see this colors the background image color also it will be changeable i reduce this size only it will be directly go to push pull tool to increase it right now it's see automatically the background image will be created right same like that same like that it will be created the background images for your building simply downloaded image and directly insert on the sketchup model then go to color will be changeable size is also it is a 247 meter i get 3 meter enter right now it's see automatically it will be extend right now it's see it will be zoom it no cutting portion is there right simply click this portion now it's see automatically it will be background image will be created this type of the background image will be most of us created directly downloaded in any part of your desktop it directly go to text and imported into your model right directly this type directly download this see the skies and others etc right see this, this type of the background image will be set up this type is you need this type of trees and other this type of trees you need to directly go to Three windows, 3D warehouse, directly download and use it. And this type of uh, skies and others means directly use this download image and directly fix it right. Now it's see, automatically it will be created right. Some background grass and other etc. is the right. You simply create the background also. Right. You simply create the background tools. Now we'll see how to create the background tools. Now idea will become right. Okay, this is the main things for SketchUp tool, right? You created the one background image, color also changeable, another size and other will be changeable, right? Today, let's see about uh, water method, water CB, water it.
what i mean so uh, first one is uh, how to change the colors going to edit command and edit the colors textures others etc then you go to download image directly insert in your model and how to download the components means directly go to window go to 3d warehouse directly download your model and how to say change the sizes and the colors etc and then and then how to create the steps on this portions and how to create the hilly terrain right hilly portions right in the sandbox tool use the sandbox tool to create the one hilly portion on this sandbox tool to create this portion right then how to create the names and how to prepare the uh, the step of back side elevation create back side skies and creation on your sketchup model right today itself i complete this section on this creation right tomorrow itself created the one interior portion right how to create the one interior portion in our sketchup model right today itself i complete this section on this portion right Thank <laughs> you.